starts. As Payne steps in, first pitch misses. When you're not overpowering and you can move the ball around and change speeds, strike one becomes so important. Just to elaborate on that a little bit, when he throws strike one, he has great success. This ball fouled away because it allows him to go to his change and his breaking ball at that point. It does. It kind of puts you in, in command, control of, of the at bat. I mean, yeah, if you throw 95, you can you can rely on that where you can always come back to it. But you have to move the ball around, rely on your off-speed stuff. Boy, nice job in the hole. Throw across the diamond. That was a great effort by Jalen Forge to get it out. As Zant Payne leads the game off with an infield hit. Seeing where Jalen had to go to get that ball. Made it a close play. He has to go to his right and throw off balance. Got him there in the air, and made it a closer. I, mean, I didn't think there was any shot of even making a throw right there. Lattisaw will step in, Miller, from the left side. Lefty lefty matchup here. Another veteran player from Heath, Texas. Physical 6'3, 220 pound left handed hitter. Good numbers on the year. Comes in hitting 333. He's hit five out of the ballpark and driven in 20. Throw over. Payne back in safely. Payne five of seven in the stolen base department. ACU will run. A little bit. Good break of ball in there first strike. And it's one and two. Throw over. Just to let him know he's there. The Hawk is out. Boeing dead in from left field. Really left center. Times it goes across to right field. Swing and a miss. Got him on the strikeout. Off speed pitch from Loomis right there. Let's take a look. Both the Texas flag and Old Glory whip it out there in the center field. Yeah, everybody would be leaning to right field. Balls hit to, to right field or going to the line. Balls hitting to, to right center carrying very well. Alessio steps in, Gino. First baseman tonight. Downstairs for ball one. Milwaukee, Wisconsin native, 6'4, 202 pounds, transferred from Quincy University. Division one. This could be two on the ground. Kennedy to second, relay to first, 4 6 3 in a beauty. It's in, riding a seven game hitting streak as he steps in. Hitting 409 on the year from the left side. First pitch swinging this ball down the left field line, fading foul. And catch. a nice catch. Check that out. Oh, this is nothing to it. Do it, LT. You're playing it all cool down there. Just lean over the rail just a little bit. Perfect catch. And then played it cool. Not his first time. No. Right there. He's looking for more. Wearing his hat like he's left handed. Caught him, but. but <laughs> well, bunted foul. Quickly, Thomas down 0 2. Stairs. One and two. JT steps back in. Out of the stretch, the one two. Pulled the string on that one. Back to back. Change ups from Magar.
Thomas steps back in. Missed with another change. Count evens at two and two. Lagar set. Upstairs. And the count goes full. JT 409 on the season. Benton 391 against right handed pitching this year. Taking this at bat from 0 2 to 3 2. The payoff. The field foul back out of play. Six pitch at bat, now seven pitch at bat coming. Hanging tough. Took three good off speed pitches. That's what you're wanting him to chase, but he's fouled off four in this at bat, so having a good at bat here. Change up, missed downstairs. Thomas leads the game off with a walk. That brings the senior from Robinson, Texas, Peyton Powell, to the plate, the Longhorn third baseman. Back to back homers in Manhattan for these two, Thomas and Powell. Steps in after his sixth homer of the year. He's driven in 30, has Powell as he steps in. Foul back out of play. First strike one. Thomas nine for nine in the stolen base department. He will run. See the numbers on the year. For the Longhorn third baseman. Chased a high hard one. 89 there from Magar. Did that the first couple to Thomas and then all of a sudden just went to off speed. Thomas wasn't biting. Let's see if he sticks with the fastball here. Semi shift on in the infield. With pain way up the middle. This ball hit well to right. It's going to have some carry. Going over is coming in as Greer. Make the play. You see that ball turn and go from center to right field in a heartbeat. It started out right towards the right side of the monster out there and ended up in right center. Jalen Flores will step in. Sophomore from San Antonio, Longhorn shortstop. From the right side. Quick throw over. Thomas back in safely. Flores with a big weekend in Manhattan. He was hitting the long ball. A lot of extra base hits in the weekend. Seven for 12. Five extra base hits. That pitch, he was squared to bunt, pulled the bat back. See over the weekend, five extra base hits, drove in seven, scored seven times. He was involved in the scoring in those three games in Manhattan. Threw over, Thomas back in safely. Also, a, a number that surprises me a little bit is he hits 338 off a of right handed pitching um, because it seems like he has dominated and has eight homers against right handed pitching. This ball hit to right with some carry. And it's going to keep carrying. And this gets down in the right center. And Thomas on his way to the plate. He will score. one nothing Texas. Another extra base hit for Jalen Flores. Good read right there from Jared Thomas at first. See the breaking ball stays up from Magar. Drives it the other way. And right there, Jared Thomas, he knows it's going to drop. 
to the wall. He took off. Very nice read. Double for Jalen Flores with an RBI. Just kept carrying away. From Burrow, the center fielder. And Max Ballou steps in. 11 homers for the sophomore from Alito. From the left side. Swing and a miss. Off speed pitch. To the Longhorn right fielder. Fastball catches the outside corner. It's quickly. 0 2. Lights are on. Shadow streaking across the middle part of the infield. Throw back to second. Four is back in safely. Got him with a changeup for the first strikeout, second out of the inning. Had those closer to the plate than he did to Thomas earlier in the inning. That's right on the plate, just takes a little bit off of it. Kimball Schusler will step in. Catcher tonight. Junior from Lano. About the position behind the plate. The numbers that both he and Rylan Galvan have put up. It, it, they're both good players, but probably didn't anticipate having two guys hitting around 350 in that position. This ball back up the middle. This is into center. Here comes Forrest, and Texas takes a 2 0 lead. 15th RBI for Kimball Schusler. Nothing too fancy, just. Put the ball in play, another breaking ball. Right up the middle. Placed it perfectly. Single RBI. That will bring the center fielder, freshman from Los Angeles, Will Gasparino, to the plate. Activity in the ACU bullpen. Orlando De La Cruz starting to throw a little bit down there. 20th pitch of the inning coming. Out in front of that changeup. The count evens at one and one. Six or seven miles an hour off the fastball, but it has good look, late little depth to it. Comes back with the fastball inside corner. One and two now. Strike three call. That ends by the time they called the game and we went home. It was pretty obvious what was happening. Back out of play. Garrett Williams, second baseman, steps back in. Senior from Grand Prairie, transferred from Midland College. Loomis misses way outside, and the count evens at one and one. Veteran player, good player. It's been off to a little bit of a slow start trying to get going here. Well, foul back out of play. You know, those veteran guys, he, Porter Brown for Texas the same way. You, you, you just you just know that their numbers 
have been much better. You know, we, we say in pro ball, you look at the back of a baseball card, it'll tell you who, who you are because at the end of the year, those numbers are always pretty close to the same. Well, same thing in college as well, especially to veteran players. This ball hit well into the gap in left center. It's going to be down. Gasparino tries to cut it off, headed to second base, throw into second, not in time. Williams with a sliding double. Fourth double for Williams. They probably would have got all the way to the fence, but again, the breeze brought it back. Gasparino does a good job of getting to it, cutting it off right there. Just not enough time to get Williams. He was getting out of the box. Got him a lead off double. DJ Van In will step in. First pitch downstairs for ball one. The DH tonight. The Oklahoma native. Six foot 198 pound junior. Pitch in there for a strike. Count evens at one and one. Right side. Nice job by Thomas. Go down. Get the out. Does move the runner up. 90 feet. Save the run. And a, another double. Here Thomas showing that leather over there going down to one knee and taking the base himself. Maddox Misi will step in. Usually behind the plate is Misi, but playing third base tonight. 99 the number. So we need we need Grant Fontenot to get in the game tonight. 99 on 99. Foul back. Misi down 0-2 here. It's Loomis getting ahead. Infield is back for Texas. Off speed misses. Try it again. You try that one again. That was that was a good pitch. It was a little low, a little bit higher out of his hand. You'll get a swing and miss right here. It's what you need to save that runner with less than two outs. Ball hit to left. Is it going to be deep enough? Porter Brown under, tagging at third. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's all the way in the air, not in time. So the sack fly, and it's a 2 1 ball game. And Porter got behind it, put himself in position to make a strong throw, just sailed a little bit. I mean, not too much up the first base line, but enough. Right there for Williams to be safe at home. A little slide, touching the plate with his hand. Matlin will step in. Caden, catcher tonight. Two outs and nobody on. Up and away for ball one. Two runs on two hits for Texas. One run on two hits now. For ACU. Loomis two for seven in first pitch strikes. Big hack. Comes up empty. Challenged him right there. 88 mile hour fastball for Loomis. Comes right back and hits the corner. So both these guys in the zone so far in the ball game. The 2 2. Change up, swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Loomis. Experience is there. I mean, it, he's been playing great left field, throwing runners out, making catches. Hit the ball hard, 
occasionally when he does it's usually at someone but you know a, a guy with his experience and as many at bats as he has at this level that eventually it's going to turn around yeah, if he could get hot and hit 10 home runs in a month though that's the, the other part of it swings and misses there no two and baseball is so much about confidence. I didn't mean to interrupt you no, there, no. but hitting is so much about confidence. You can build some confidence. You can start to get it going. Even the best of hitters. It, it can become a mental game. Oh, speed misses outside. And I think more than more than anything. I mean, as a pitcher, a veteran pitcher, you go out there and you're giving up hits, hits. You start to think, I might not be able to get anyone out. Yeah. Well, as a hitter, you're probably thinking, I, well, I might not ever get a hit. Have I got my last that, base hit? To that train of thought, the way you're thinking, just need a couple hits. On the ground the other way. Across the infield for the first out. And the one thing about it, you see Porter Brown going down that line every time. Still hustling. Still trying every way in the world to get it done. The DH tonight for the Longhorns. Rylan Galvan will step in. Sophomore from Sinton, Texas. Outstanding. Sophomore year at the plate. Five homers, 21 ribbies. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Seemed like he had half of those RBIs at Manhattan. He had a good weekend, too. He had a big time weekend. He was a doubles machine in one game with three of them. This is outside. Count evens at one and one. And this win is built perfectly for him because his power, his best power is right center. A lot of players don't know that. They think they have to pull the ball to have a lot of power. Kyle Russell, one of the great home runs hitter here at Texas. His very first homer at Texas was opposite field in Houston. In Houston, yeah. in the in Minute Maid. Right. I think it was called Enron. Then, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but he had the most power I've seen the other way. 2-1 to Galvan. Chop foul. Count evens at 2-2. Two two. When you stay inside the baseball, what I mean by that is your hands don't come out and swing across the ball. You stay inside it. You can have power the other way. Breaking ball fooled him. Is it that's that inside one that comes back and catches the inside corner? Hitters a lot of times will give up on it. So he wants it away, but it just stays right there. You see Galvan think it's gonna stay in and just comes right back over the inside. Freshman D. Kennedy will step in, Fort Worth, Texas native. This bat came alive over the weekend in Manhattan, Kansas. Hit two, not just his first career homer, he hit two over the weekend. Go one. This is count evens. Have we seen a fastball from De La Cruz yet? A lot of breaking ball. That was a slider. That got on on a curveball. All breaking balls. All right, Phil Wynn will take this out of play. One and two to Kennedy. Ball drop, but strikeout for the weekend, the Houston Cougars. And just look at it. OU on top of the conference at seven and two. And then you got Kansas State and Texas, six and three. And some of those schools. Just to finish some thought there as Greer steps in. TCU and, and Tech sweeps over the weekend, and all of a sudden those records are getting closer to 500 quickly. Everyone in the Big 12 noticed that, I'm yeah. sure. Ball to 
down the right field line, really pushing it away from Ballou. TCU only has seven losses on the season, and those seven are in conference play. <laughs> Early in conference play. Red Raiders are now five and seven. TCU now five and seven. The Red Raiders just took two from Stanford in love. Greer, the senior, will step back in. To right with some tail. This is a tail over to Ballou with the wind pushing it. We're out number one. Just, you know, you look at it, you know, 13 schools in the Big 12 play baseball, and that's the top 10. Obviously, Baylor, Houston, BYU outside of that, but that's where the standings are right now. So, you know, it's a five game difference between OU and Texas Tech, but. Texas Tech has another series under the belt. This ball popped up. Kimball Schusler has it. That's the. That's what's going on. As we get to, you know, we're in, we're in April. As we will start to talk about. I mean, you and I both up here before the game are looking at RPIs already. I mean, you're just. It's that time of the year when you start thinking. Well, where, where are you? Where are you? Where do you situation? What's your situation nationally? And in the conference first, and then where. Your RPI is national. Texas right now sitting 49. Moved up a few spots after winning two out of three in Manhattan. Kansas State lost two out of three in game points in the RPI. And sometimes I don't understand that, especially at home. 35th pitch of, of the night from Loomis, the 1 2 to Payne. I know next inning we'll get to look at some national stuff, but the thing that's amazing to me right now the way it would situate uh, 16 regional sites uh, 14 of them would be either in the SEC or the ACC <laughs> inside corner strike three call that's him I'm, I'm not a kettle corn guy you like kettle corn no I like popcorn I like jumbo pop jumbo pop there you go breaking ball in there for a strike They don't make it anymore, though. Uh, just right, you like across. Jiffy Pop. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just right across the top. You know, you just slide it and it. Unf like a crown. Oh, it was. The good stuff. Foul back, and it's quickly 0 2. I said 97. I think that was off the bat. Maybe. I said 97. We haven't seen too many fastballs from Dale Cruz. Now, there's just good old fashioned there's, salted there's some popcorn, popcorn there. Yeah. The 0 2. Took something off. That's actually a fastball. Just got some movement. Swing and a miss from Thomas. Third straight strikeout for De La Cruz. He took something off of it, but took them off of it at 89. I'm not sure the gun's working exactly right. I, that looked like a change. Had Thomas out in front of him. Had, had some depth, too. I mean, if the fastball was 97, what we saw on the foul ball, that could be true. Breaking ball misses. Powell flied to right his first time up. That one said 95, so we, it may be right. I think it was right. The 2 0. -oh. Stairs. You can see the change of grip that time on the monitor. It was 87 miles an hour, so that fastball is getting up there for De La Cruz. 20th pitch. The 3 0 -oh to Powell. Inside four pitch walk. So I'll blame Flores to the plate. He doubled. A drive in a run his first time up. Came in to score. Schusler single. So one for one with a ribby and a an run scored.
Roddy Roddy matchup here. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Now, that's the one you want, just not on the night back tonight as a hitter. That one stayed right there on the inside part of the plate. But well, I guess, again, anyone that can turn the wind around would be Jalen Flores. We've seen him do that this year. Off of the fist. Second for one, the relay to first. Not in time. That's a good effort. As Payne did not, sh he shoveled it with his glove. And I think that took just enough off, along with Jalen Flores getting down the line. It was a perfect feed with the glove. Close down there at first. They're not going to check. So two gone in the inning as Max Ballou will come to the plate. Strikeout victim his first time up. De La Cruz comes set. Tried to check his swing, couldn't. Out in front, strike one. I believe that Hawk is picking up. Blowing harder than it has any time today. Feels like it. Challenging through it by. So Blue quickly down. No balls and two strikes. De La Cruz came in with an 8-7 as a starter. And a 6 ERA as a reliever. With throwing 97 with change-ups at 87. Uh, he can start to keep the ball around the plate like he has the, the first couple of innings. He's going to be all right. 25 pitches so far, though, in the inning and two-thirds. He just needed an opener. Sometimes. Long look, now set. The 0-2. There goes the runner. Ball gets away. Madeline could not come up with it. Stolen base for Flores. First step, got to catch it. So come out of the crouch right here and just pops right out of the glove. Flores two for two now in that department and into scoring position. One and two on Blue. I go old fashioned. But the sign Science. is going. What is that? On the ground, the first to the bag. Ends the inning. Third of the game in the books. Texas numbers on the year. From California to the Valley. Mm. I guess the Valley is really not too far for them since they're here in Texas. Well, it's a pretty good sized state. <laughs> it only takes 16 hours to yeah, go. Yeah. Louisiana to Arizona. Out to left. Wynn will push this down. Porter Brown coming quickly. Can he get there? He cannot. Lays out. This is going to be extra bases. Flores gets to it. Rounding third. The throw comes into third. They're going to get him. And they do get him. Nice play, Jalen Flores, to back it up. Never give up on the play. Porter Brown does all he can with the win. He's going to knock it down. Porter Brown tries to get to it just off the glove. But look at this. Jalen Flores with a slide, a pop-up slide, a perfect throw to Peyton Powell. A good tag, a double with a 6-5 shortstop to third base put out. Delisio will step in. First pitch in there for a strike. Hit into it. 4-6-3 double play. 3-6. Three, 368. 31 ribbies. Seven homers as he steps in. This ball pull foul. That's a play sometimes that can go unnoticed as the game goes along. Oh, if it stays 2-1. to one. 
I mean, that's that's nobody out to run on third in this inning. Just an outstanding, good hustle out there. Alessio steps back in. This ball up the middle for the base hit. Well, that, that would have that would have led to a run right there. So defense makes the play. We're going to have to get Kirk, our statistician, some bricks to put down because he's all this stuff is flying everywhere. It's 24 straight now, Delesio. As Williams will step in, throw over. Is anything you can put down as paperweights? This ball hit well, but into the teeth of the traffic will be held up. Porter Brown right there to make the play. That ball was hit right on the button. Porter about 10 feet backwards. Not very much. That ball was hit well. Not with this breeze tonight. And Atten will step in. Grounded to first. His first time up. Good play down there by Jared Thomas on that ground ball. This ball gets away. Down to scoring position now. It's the tying run. For Abilene Christian. A wild pitch officially. The 1 0. Side. Hitters count now 2 0. Loomis takes a walk behind the mound. Can't take a very long walk. Not with that pitch clock, which is down at five right now. Okay. 3 0. Green light here. With this breeze, I don't think so. No. Does have three home runs, does Vinette? For Loomis, this is his first three ball count of the night. And it's three and oh. Misses. Ball four. So a couple on here for the Wildcats. Nisi will be coming to the plate. Sacrifice fly drove in a run his first time up. Upstairs for ball one. Easton Tumas for Texas freshman warming up. Loomis now right under 50, 48th pitch coming up. The 1 0. Downstairs, and it's 2 0. The good hitters count. Six in a row from Luma's out of the zone. Upstairs. That is seven in a row. 50th pitch of the ball game for the Texas left hander. Inside ball four. And that's going to load the bases here. I think might get a visit as well. From David Pierce, Kimball Schusler out there now having a conversation. Tumas wasn't really throwing too hard down there, but now he's getting ready with a purpose. So maybe right off. Well, David Pierce already going to the bullpen. As he comes on, he's a senior from Sugar Grove, Illinois. And he's the pinch hitter. First pitch in there for a strike. Staley. Mm -hmm. 
250 on the year. He's driven in six. Ninety-two on that fastball, swung right through it, and quickly it's 0-2. You got to remember that. You're quickly ahead 0-2. You have a pitch here. You don't have to get the ball around the plate. I know a lot of times they're saying, "No, you got to throw strikes," but this isn't the time. Steps off. Something in Schusler's eye. So get the free timeout. ACU has struggled in this area with the bases loaded. Get to it after this 0 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. Got him. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. And Tumas then from third base goes. Nisi to behind the plate. So that's the changes for the Wildcats. And ACU in a 2 1 game. And then all of a third sudden, baseman. third baseman is going to get his card. We, we didn't have a third baseman there for a second. Yeah. Pitcher was on the mound and it was rolling. Schusler steps back in. That ball misses outside and it's 2 0. Oh. So do, you, do you stop the pitch clock? For that, he had to go. Hey, 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 I, I don't have a card. I don't did, have a card. Or did they just take the little timeout thing? The 2 0. Breaking ball drops in there, and it's 2 and 1. Kimball, RBI single, his first time up. Good numbers. 350 on the year, three homers. He's driven in 15. Ball outside corner, it's like a two seamer, and then he's got the one that's a four seamer. Popped up, Win will get a hold of it, but it'll stay in the ballpark. Nice job to secure it by Greer to get the out. Good thing you got that card to know where to be. Right. Okay. But well, you change positions. First play at your new position. Right. To good pop of it did. It stayed in. The wind brought it back. It was above the dugout. The wind brought it back into foul territory. Gasparino will step in. Strikeout victim his first time up. This ball misses. Way outside. And De La Cruz. Dipping dots. It's going to get chilly here in a minute. Down to 65 with the strong breeze. So it's be in the low 50s maybe at the end of the ball game. Do they have gummy bears in the in the dipping dots? There's some more dipping dots. Swings through it. One and two. Blankets going on. This ball hit well to center, but wrong day. Over. Put away. Borrow. For the second out. So two gone. As Porter Brown will step in. Grounded to third his first time up. First pitch misses. We'll visit with head coach Rick McCarty. He's calling pitches right now. And the top of the fifth inning. Inside. 2 and 0. Oh. Hitters count now. 
Fastball misses. The 40th pitch from De La Cruz coming up. Chandler Freeman is throwing for the Wildcats. Four pitch walk. Two out base runner for Texas. Porter Brown always a threat to run. He gets down to first base. Rodlin Galvan will step in. Strikeout victim his first time up. Brown eight out of nine in the stolen base department. Throw over. Brown back in safely. When you have a green light. You, you try to pick counts where it could be a breaking ball. A lot of breaking balls from De La Cruz. He has a good opportunity to get a bag right here. Right hander. Don't throw three times. Usually done. Left hander, so. left hander should though. If he does this time, he might get him. I think Porter's not going to be there long. Not running. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Calvin steps back in. De La Cruz set. Not running. Fouled off the right side. Look out. Close to D. Kennedy over there. Look the out. Oof. <laughs> Oof. He dodged one right there. The 0-2. This is outside. Right hander Freeman has sat down now. Dash Albus, the lefty. Oh, look, they got Dash, they got Blaze. Those are nice names. Well, I would think both of those guys need to be able to run if you're Blaze or Dash. Right? Got to have good speed, right? Got to. The one, two. There goes Porter. Pitches downstairs for a ball, and Porter Brown has stolen his ninth base of the year. Lucy just thought it was a strike. Didn't even attempt the throw. Then he checked first, but Galvan not even close to swinging at the pitch. Opportunity now to get to RBI. Two and two to Galvan with Brown at second base. De La Cruz set. Breaking ball misses. And the count goes full. 423 on the year. It's Galvan, runners in scoring position. So he's been really good in these spots. The payoff. Way outside, ball four. So back to back walks here in the bottom of the fourth, and D. Kennedy comes to the plate. Galvan, a good at bat, took that one from 0 2 to 4 2. I like 4 2. Rick McCarty on his way out. He'll face Kennedy here with runners for Texas on first and second. De La Cruz set. Break the ball misses way outside for ball one. The 1 0. Catches the outer half. Good location there. 
Count evens at one and one. Stays inside. Hitters count again two and one. Fiftieth pitch for De La Cruz. On the way. Didn't get cheated. Did Kennedy? But threw it right by. Mono a mono. Big swing from Kennedy right there. So two and two now. On the ground to third. Greer hustles to the bag, and that ends the inning and the threat for Texas here in the bottom of the fourth. Their six-year head coach, Rick McCarty. Rick, one of the things you talked to us before the game is that you guys are, are, are go out and you knew you were going to use a lot of pitchers, but you've got a real good performance out of your right-hander, uh, De La Cruz, tonight. Yeah, Rolando's been good. He's been over the plate with a couple of different pitches, and uh, he's really challenged a good lineup to this point. Uh, we're going to make a move now. He's going to reach that spot to save him for the weekend. But, um, yeah, he's a very talented, gifted guy. Um, when he's right, it's um, it's not an easy at-bat. Yeah, sometimes you, you do have the conference. That's that's the most important thing. But you stay in this game as it goes on. I mean, could we see a weekend guy come out? No, no, we're not <laughs> going to do that, man. We're, we're trying to protect our guys, and uh, we need to get some other guys some experience and these venues, too, to, to, to get us ready to hopefully win a black tournament and uh, hopefully make it back to another venue like this in the postseason. Oh, yeah, the last thing I got for you, good, just talk to us a little bit real quickly about your league. Y'all go all over the country. How about your travel schedule? Yeah, it's uh, challenging. Uh, we're, we're the outpost in Abilene, Texas, so uh, anytime you want to jump on a flight, you got to get to DFW. And, uh, you know, we were in Sacramento last weekend. We're in state this week. But we've got trips to Grand Canyon, Utah, which is neat. It you know, allows our guys to see a lot of a lot of different parts of the country and see a lot of different types of baseball. So uh, we're in a good spot in, in the league right now. So hopefully we can uh, have another good weekend coming up and uh, set us up for the backstretch. Thanks for visiting with. Good luck to you and your team the rest of the year. All right, thanks, guys. Go Wildcats. Pitches upstairs. Count even at one and one. To Benjamin Greer, who made that last play at third base. 8-9-1 due to face Easton Tumas. His first full inning of work in relief, Chase Loomis. And the 1-1. One -one. Top of the zone for a strike, and it's one and two. Easton. Tumas almost said Loomis Loomis to Tumas. That's what it's came in and it bases loaded and threw three pitches and got out of the inning. I don't care what day of the week that was impressive and now it's back to back strikeouts for Easton Tumas. Great location to the. And you just look at the Wildcats and their upcoming schedule what they have to go and where they go obviously in state and Nacogdoches this weekend against. Stephen F. Austin and then midweek game with the Red Raiders coming to Abilene and then you have to go to well, UC Davis is coming here. But California Baptist they have to go to some bunch of different folks not going to be able to get an out here. Burrow comes up with the base hit. Chopped it right in the ground. Nobody could get to it. over to us too far for Flores. <laughs> the guy that came over and tried to get it was Peyton Powell all the way from third base. Fifth hitter of the night and the one out base runner will back to the top of the order. Zant Payne will step in. He singled his first time up, struck out, so one for two as he steps in here. Tries to bunt it out in front, right back. Goes to first base for the out. Interesting getting a runner into scoring position there. I'm not sure they'll call that a sacrifice. It is one three on the put out. You would think in that situation you were trying for a bunt. You just didn't put it in the right spot. It will be a sacrifice. For Zant Payne. Not a saw will step in. Downstairs for ball one. 
doubled thrown out trying to stretch it to a triple his last time up one for two with the tying run in scoring position here top of the fifth inning they got a shot they got him The old flash play worked perfect. It's nice to get back home. We talked about it on the road over the weekend, but you're in the middle of a sort of an odd thing here with two weeks in a row for your Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is it some changes that you've had to make? Um, a little bit. I mean, you kind of have a little concern about LB going in on uh, one day's one day less of rest, but he'll get back on a schedule and then he'll get a extra day. Um, same thing with the other two starters, but. No, there's not a, a huge adjustment. You, you know, you you got Easter, so you got that day, and then yesterday was a light workout going into today. But really pleased with the way we played at, at Kansas. Uh, they're a really good ball club. We played really well the last two games. You got to be really pleased at what you saw coming out of the bullpen with Easton Tumas bases loaded, and just three pitches later, you're in the dugout. Yeah, I mean, it was Chase's first start. You know, it got us three and two thirds, and. Uh, you know, we kind of pissed around the guy with the uh, base open, and then we threw non-competitive pitches to the next guy. But Tumas did a great job. I thought Loomis did a good job in his first start, but Tumas came in there like ice in the veins. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck to us in the ball game. I appreciate it. Top of the order due here for Texas in the fifth, as they lead here two-one. New pitcher into the game. Dash. It's Dash Albus. Give you his numbers momentarily. Fall foul back from JT, who has walked and scored and struck out. A local product from right in Abilene is Dash Jr. His 11th appearance. Those are good numbers. Out of the bullpen. A lot of times, out of the bullpen, you can't control your ERA. Is it nine? Because sometimes you, they're on base and they, they score. Without you being out there, but everything else really good for Dash. Take a picture. And this ball hit well to right. He's got a chance. That's where they were taking a picture. Get out of town! JT for the seventh time! JT getting around on bases. 368 feet. That one. Not as hard as most. 93 off the bat. Really gets around the bases in a hurry. Horns up with the curtain call. And lefty left this little slider right down the middle. JT doesn't miss. It. Knows it right there. 3 1 Texas. Third hit of the night for the Horns. Leaves the ballpark. Texas now with a three to one lead. Powell steps in. He has walked, flied to right. Count evens at one and one. Got a quick arm, does Albus at 93 with the fastball. Skied. When will get a hold of this? Not an easy play. Greer, right on the bag, puts it away for the first out of the inning. There's no fly balls tonight that are that much fun to catch. It's still whipping. That wind is still blowing pretty good. You can't take your eye off the ball. And if you're an outfielder, you can't drift on the ball. You got to go after. It. Flores will step in. He doubled in a run, scored a run. Reached on a fielder's choice, has stolen a base. A lot of numbers tonight for Flores in a 3 1 ball game. Comes up empty there on a good hack. That was a live fastball. Another 93. You just see it. I mean, some, some people just kind of lumber through their mo he, His arm gets through when he let, releases the fastball. Now back. It's quickly 0 2. Good 
The 0 2 delivery. This ball hit pretty well to right as well. At the wall. Get out of town, Jalen Flores. Tenth of the year. Almost exact same numbers from Jared Thomas. That 363 feet, 95 off the bat. Jared was 368 feet, 94 off the bat. And almost the same location. One left, one righty. Number 10, double digits for Jalen Flores. You see D Dash Albus with the breeze. He knew that as soon as it left the bat. Max Ballou steps in. Longhorns continue to play long ball this season. Four hits now and four runs. Four hits, three extra base hits. Pitch in there for a strike, and it's quickly 0 2. Ballou steps in 0 for 2. Stairs. One and two. This ball skied in the infield. Again, tough play with this win. They don't see they it. They can't see it. This is going to fall for a double. Twilight. We don't like to use that word too often around here. But that one, it went up and immediately D'Alessio couldn't see it. And Garrett Williams, for a second, you can see he's right on it. And then all of a sudden his hands go up, like right there. I don't know. And then it doesn't land too far from him. Staley was too far away to get there. Seventh double for Max Malou. Kimball Schusler will step in. He's one for two with an RBI single. That, that feeling right there. As a pitcher, I mean, I, I can imagine as a fielder out there, just it, you don't want it to hit you because you don't know where it is. First pitch in there for a strike. So three extra base hits, one lost in the twilight. Here in the bottom of the fifth, two runs across. And that's just one of the reasons why you hustle. I mean, some people would have loafed down to first base and just still be on first base. Max Blue was running, got the second, and the ball barely got out of the infield. The 1-1 one, one to Schusler. Foul back. Tied him up. That one. one and two. Long look in. Now set. Chopped at the plate. Now remains one and two. Side back out of play. Albus long look in again.
The one two. Up and away. The count evens at two and two. Right hander Freeman. Chandler Freeman again back up throwing. For Evelyn Christian in their bullpen. Twentieth pitch overall seventh of this at bat. Popped up going to be a tough play when has it. Push it back into the stands. Hope everybody's OK. The orange sweatshirt there. She was trying to protect mom at all costs. I see her. I mean, she's she's got her covered up with the left hand, and then I like it. it protects. Then they couldn't find the baseball. <laughs> now she's getting the play-by-play -play right there. To center, going to be a tough play. It's going to fall in for a base hit. Schusler's second hit of the night. Boro just didn't read it off the bat and win pushed this down. I mean, at twilight, I guess you can not catch it well off the bat. Playing deep with the wind just could not come in and get that one. Sixth hit for Texas. Four extra base hits. Two singles go to Kimball Schuster. Well, now runners at first and third. Chance to break this thing open as Gasparino comes to the plate. He is over two. Still one out in the inning. We could have a pitching change here. Bat to center field. His second hit of the night puts runners at first and third and one out and two across in the frame in a 4 1 game. As Gasparino will step in against Freeman. Wildcats a double play depth in the middle of the infield. There goes the runner. A little swing and miss. The only play for Greer is to first base. That ball gets away. As Ballou scores. Schusler on his way to the plate. He scores. 6 1 Texas. Well, Ballou was going to score easily. Ball gets away from Greer, throws up the right field line, just sailed on him. Right here with the throw. Kimball Schusler was being held up at third. And Steve Rodriguez looked. <laughs> it's like you better score. He had E5. He does, I'm sure he'll get one RBI out of this. Not the second one. Schusler all the way around. Scoring that run. Texas has separated here on the E5. Two runs scored as Porter Brown will step in with Gasparino at second base. Porter 0 for 1 with a walk and a stolen base. A four spot here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. Right hander set. 1 0. Chopped on the ground. Brown retired at first, 4 3 on the put out as Williams makes the play. Moving up to third is Gasparino. Galvan will step in. He has struck out and walked. Sophomore. DH tonight. Step in. Freeman set. Slider misses for ball one. Eighth batter of the inning for the Longhorns. Breaking ball in there. 
Count evens. The 1 1. Now back right side. One and two to Galvan. Out of the stretch, set, checks the runner. The one two. Just back up the middle into center field. Two out RBI for Galvan. Texas with a five spot. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Quick hands from Galvan. A good fastball from Freeman. He just threw the hands at it right up the middle. Great effort out there by Zing. Payne. Zant Payne. But RBI now a five spot here for Texas. Kennedy will step in 0 for 2. Ninth batter of the inning for Texas here. Out towards center off the end of the bat. This is going to fall in for a base hit. Galvan around to third. It's just one of those off the end of the bat. The Texas leaguers, it drops in. Break a ball in there for a strike. 0-1 to Thomas. Just misses with the fastball and the count evens. Galvan at third. Kennedy at first. Downstairs. You see with a nice block. Big leap from Kennedy at first. The 2 1. Not going. That breaking ball catches the outer half. Both strikes have been breaking balls down in good location. JT not going after him. Not going to do much with those. The 2 2. There goes Kennedy. Ball chop foul. We'll do it again. Texas jumped out 2 0 if you're just tuning in. Wildcats. Evelyn Christian scored one in the top of the second. It was 2 1 till we got to this bottom of the fifth where the Longhorns have separated with a five spot and threatening for more here. Tenth batter of the inning for Texas. This off of him. This is going to be a base hit. A run will score. And JT, with his second hit of the night of the inning. That hurt. Take a look at it right from behind home plate. You got the back of the leg. Still going to hurt a little bit. Right now, it'll be all right. It'll tighten up a little bit in between innings. So the RBI infield single from Thomas will bring Peyton Powell to the plate. Ninth hit of the ball game, eighth run of the game for Texas. 11th batter of the inning here in the bottom of the fifth.
Freeman's first pitch misses outside for ball one. That's got to make you a little gun shot, Zeke. Anytime something comes back and hits off your body. Yeah, I mean, it just makes you a little gun shy. Happened a few times in my career. The next few pitches, you kind of flinch as you let it go. Oh, I can imagine. Ball inside. And it's 2 0 to Powell. Good hitters count here. Warm up, Coop. Needs it. 63 degrees, wind still blowing out of the northwest. Downstairs. And it's 3 0 to Powell. Green light up seven. Freeman set his 3 0 delivery. Kennedy taken off for third. It's ball four. So that'll load the bases. Jalen Flores, his second at bat of the inning. He homered earlier in this frame. Had an opportunity to what, get his third of the year. If he gets a hold of one, it'd be his third grand slam of the That's year. That's exactly right. <laughs> He's driven in 28 as he steps in here. Break a ball in there for strike one. He has doubled. Homer. He's got really good numbers on the season. Yes, he does. 41 hits now. This is off the end of the bat. It's going to fall in there as well. That's down. One run will score. Two runs will score. And Texas has blown it open here now. It's not how you hit them, it's where you hit them. The third one, Texas has dropped in front of Reese Borough out there in center field. That time, uh, a single for Flores, two more RBIs giving him four on the night. Triple away from the cycle now is Jalen Flores. As Blue will step in, he reached on a ball lost in the lights, twilight, double. Is Last time up, came in to score. One for three on the night. Runners at first and third here. Ten runs on ten hits now for Texas. Downstairs for ball one. Chopped at the plate. Foul. Been a while for Easton Tumas. It sure has. In the dugout. Texas does have a right hander warming up. As Ooh. does Abilene Christian. 1 1 count now. As Ballou steps back in. Good swing, fouled it straight back. One and two to Blue. Thomas and Flores have five of the ten hits tonight. The one two. Got away with a hanger. Two good swings for Max. Eight hits in the inning on eight runs in the inning. 13th batter to the plate. Almost 30 minutes in this half inning. A 
upstairs. Count evens at two and two. Blue steps back in. Powell from third. Flores from first. 26 pitch for Freeman. Just missed. The count goes full. Flores will be off with the pitch here. Yanked foul. That netting saved someone right there. That ball was laced, pulled over that direction. Left now. Just get out of the way. <laughs> Eighth pitch of the at bat coming. The 3 2 again. In there for strike three call, and that ends the inning. But in the inning, I guess some can say saved a few arms in that game on Thursday. Freshman from spring, his sixth appearance. Saul will step in. Pitches in there for a strike. One for two. Thrown out trying to stretch a double into a triple. His last time up. Downstairs. Two and one. Got some Tuesday surprises around the nation. We've seen get more and more of those each week as you get the swing and a miss. Just threw the fastball by him, and the count evens at two and two. USC Upstate played Clemson 11 to 1. Wow. They beat Clemson. We have 2 2 pitch. Nice play. Powell to his left sets his feet. Nice throw across the diamond. Nice play, Peyton Powell, Very for the nice first play. out in the sixth. Little step, keep the glove down. First step right there. Stayed with it. Plenty of time to show the arm for the first out. Delessio will step in. UNC Wilmington, 6 4 over Coastal. Wow. Final? Final. I have one more for you. Central Arkansas beating Mississippi State. On the ground to Flores. Sets his feet. Two quick outs here in the sixth. Six pitches. So two gone for Garrett Williams. As he will come to the plate. May have a pinch hitter here. Stevens Zion Stevens will be the pinch hitter freshman from Missouri City will step in first pitch in there for a strike And the 0 1 from Hamilton. Not where you want your break a ball, but got away with it. And it's quickly 0 2. When they work, you'll take it. Just try not to throw it there again. Right side, back out of play. Tried it again. Steve with a good swing on that one. Count waste, remains 0 2. Got a wasted 0 2. At least well, out of the zone a little bit. Yeah, that was a strike. Yeah.
Tenth pitch. You can see Kimball right there patting the turf saying this is where I want it. Count remains 0-2. I like the same pitch, but away. All those have kind of stayed on the, in the middle part of the plate. I like fastball at, at the chase, chase the high heater at the shoulders over the plate. Here comes the 0-2. Breaking ball got it. That's why I pitch. That's it. I'm kidding. Very good pitch there. Bottom of the six. First pitch in there for a strike from Palmer. 10, 10 and 0 for Texas. 1, 5 and 1 for ACU. Bottom of the sixth inning. Glad you're with us. It has been a windblown night. A lot of breeze up there. Still coming. Still. Out of the northwest. Schusler. Two for three on the night. The one one went after a slider and it's one and two. You call that having your mind made up? You're going to swing. Yep. Could have thrown the rosin bag and he was swinging that one. <laughs> Just let that one go. The one two. Then he got a hanger. <laughs> he did get a hanger right there. Kimball 354 as he steps in. Three homers. He's driven in 15. 29 hits on the year as he steps in with a 1 2 count. Chop foul. Don't forget. Special. Week again this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, as the Cougars at BYU come to town. 6 30 Thursday night. We'll have it for you right here on LHN. Good breaking ball there for the strikeout. This is a firm slider from Palmer. 84 miles an hour with the slider. And Friday night special start time that's 730 Friday night and then 230 Saturday afternoon and then you travel the 30 miles down the road Bobcat take on the Bobcats. Our conversation last week so we didn't take it far enough. After the Bobcats we go to the Cougars in Houston. Just there's this what's just been a cats everywhere. Wildcat. Wildcat. Cougar Bobcat Cougar. Yeah. Or UTRGV needs to change their name. They need to that be some kind of cat. The Bobcats in the valley. Saber tooth cat or something. <laughs> Gasparino down 0 1. Sam Houston, we play later on in the season. They're the Bearcats. Okay, but it's a Bearcat with a K. K. And I think it's a bear. Okay, but it sounds good. The one one. Break a ball in there first strike and it's one and two. Slider swing and a miss. So back to back strikeouts after coming into the game. Blaine Palmer. The well, fastball has been 92 93. And then you drop that 85 mile hour slider in there. It's pretty good arm from Palmer. Porter Brown will step in. He's 0 for 2. He has walked and stole a base. Palmer set. Downstairs for ball one, and he has most of the time. When you see guys that have a great curveball, they don't have a, a, a good slider, but he seems to have a curveball and a slider. As a reliever, you need to pick one or the other because you don't have time a lot of times to come in and throw throw all of them. So I imagine at some point, 
He's been a starter. It is. It's, it's difficult to. You don't have time. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Coming out of the bullpen to get a good feel for both the curveball and the slide. Hitters count here two and zero. Oh. This ball back up the middle. Payne does a nice job of being there. Takes a base hit away from Porter Brown. Two thirds of the game in the books. Ten one Texas. Jared Thomas is not just done as we get to the last third of the ball game here in the top of the seventh. We'll have a pinch hitter as well. Surface Bobby will step in transfer from Cisco College. Austin native. Westlake High School from Westlake. Senior. Step in. Outside for ball one. Fastball foul down the right field line. Evens at one and one. The one one. Break a ball misses. Two and one to the pinch hitter. Fastball upstairs. Three and one. Upstairs, ball four. So leadoff walk here in the seventh for ACU. Don't overthink it, kid. Ten run lead. Get the ball over the plate. If they hit it, fine. MC will step in. Maddox has hit a sacrifice fly and walk, so no official plate appearance. That pitch upstairs. And, and it's pull, one and oh. Pull your head out as a head coach, pitching coach, right here. <laughs> Top of the zone, but in there for a strike, and the count evens. Double play depth in the infield, straight away in the outfield. Texas has doubled up. ACU and hits 10 to 5 and lead here 10 1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. 1 and 2 to Misi. Fouled off. We'll do it again. You know, college baseball is in such a routine. I, I'm, I'm, I really think it's it's unusual to have two weeks in a row. We'll get to it after this one-two delivery. Almost every head coach takes off on Mondays because you got to have the NCAA says you have to have one day off a week. You play Tuesdays most week. Your workouts are Wednesdays your main workout, and then Thursday a lot of times you got if you're traveling you got to travel. Got to go. 2-2. Two, two. Sky to right. It's going to be a tough play. Blue under. Gets to it. Puts it away for the first out of the inning. And then you play over the weekend and you start it over again the next week. And then you have two weeks in a row. Does Texas where a first one is Easter Sunday. That they were off. And then the second one because BYU doesn't play on Sunday. So you have two weeks in a row that you have a Sunday off in college baseball. That's that's so out of routine. 
it, it sort of disrupts your pitching staff and a little bit of everything. It really does. And you don't know if it's going to have an effect for one week or two weeks or, or what it's going to be. Staley will step in, come on as a pitch hitter. Texas will probably enjoy this Sunday at Monday off. They play Tuesday, Wednesday, and then travel to Houston for the weekend. Five games next week. The 0 1 misses. And pitchers were moved up. If your college pitchers are used to pitching every seven days, the 1 1 coming here. It's on the ground. Flores can't get to it. So a walk and a one out single. The Wildcats with something working here. Top of the seventh. Flores shaded up the middle a little bit. Staley just takes this one. Nice ground ball through the infield. Nielsen will be the pinch hitter. Jack Nielsen is 6'3, 215 pound junior from South Lake Carroll High School in South Lake. He will come on to pinch hit here. He's a junior. Longhorns a double play depth in the infield here with one out. Now getting back to pitchers, you take. We'll get to it after this pitch. You look at a guy like Ace Whitehead who got into the rotation. He pitches, comes back after having 119 pitches here at home, comes back a day short and goes 102 pitches. This ball misses outside. And he's going to be, he's not going to be moved up this week, so he'll be on normal deal because he pitched last Friday and he will pitch this Friday so he's back on normal rest then he'll get eight days yeah the next step swings through that you just have to in between I mean not as heavy a load on your lifting maybe not as heavy a load throwing a bullpen might not might not need a bullpen just play some long toss and throw flat ground see Max Grubbs and LBJ right there enjoying this game Outside corner strike three call. First strikeout. For the freshman. Rook will be the pinch hitter holding Rook. Sophomore from the Woodlands. Right handed hitter will step in to pinch hit here. Downstairs for ball one. It's like the start of a big league season. A lot of times you don't need that fifth starter to nearly the first of May. Off days. Things like that. Well, sometimes teams will send that starter down to triple A just to get a couple starts in. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And now it's not good on his uh, his his salary and his play time, but yeah, I'm no longer a, a super two. <laughs> Got me out of arbitration. The one two fouled away. But when you have a lead guy, I mean, if you're Verlander and those type of guys that, that are your number one leads, they're going to pitch every five days. And tell you there. Yeah. And right. So <laughs> this is where I'm pitching. Yeah. And so you, you got the bell cows. You, you, you have to take care of them. Yeah. The one two. This ball back up the middle. Flores gets it. Can he get an out? He cannot. And that's going to load the bases. It wouldn't hit hard. Hit off the end of the bat. 
right underneath Selby. I think he hit the mound. It's something and took a it slowed the ball down. Took an odd hop. Yeah. So that loads the bases. See, off the up. end. Hit hit the it's top a, of the mound and then right there. Yeah, sort of stayed down, didn't yeah. it? So back to the top of the order. As Payne will step in, he's a switch hitter. From the left side. Too much time. No pitch violation. One for two. As he steps in. Upstairs for ball one. So cool. Twenty fifth pitch of the frame coming. That misses outside. And it's two and oh. This ball right at Borba. Hit right on the button. But at Borba, that ends the inning. Seventh. Scored a run. Walked. First pitch misses for ball one from Foster. Breaking ball upstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Ball right field, long way but foul. The way that wind was pushing that, if you parked at MLK and Comal, you may have a busted window right there. A lot of them going over there today. With the wind pushing it that way. The 2 1. Upstairs. 3 and 1. To the DH for the Longhorns. Jack O'Dowd has moved out into the on deck circle. And a leadoff walk here, in the home half of the seventh. As O'Dowd will come on to pinch it. Senior from Nashville will have a pinch runner here for Texas. Ocean will come on to pinch run. And so Dowd will come to the plate. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Foster set. Inside. Two and oh. We'll have a little talk. This is just between head coach. And pitcher. Activity up and going again. Parker Matthews is throwing in the bullpen for ACU. And the conversation is about we can't defend. Pitches outside the zone, but we got a chance to defend pitches in the zone. And you got guys behind you. Help. Play good defense. Let them help you out. O'Dowd steps back in. The 2-0. That catches the outside corner. And it's two and one. The 
swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Breaking ball. Back up the middle. Off of the pitcher. Merchant on his way to third. So runners at first and third here. Breaking ball. Right back at the pitcher. He sort of tries to get up to field it. And the ricochet just takes away. So that'll be a base hit. Too much momentum going. Odell with a knock. So Borba will step in. Fresh run from Santa Ana, California. He'll step in. Infield drawn up. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. Out of play, and the count evens at one and one. Borba mm -hmm. steps back in. Foster set, checks the runners. This ball hit well to left. Tagging Wershon. The throw to the plate. This could be close. Is it in time? They got him at the plate for the second out of the inning. What a throw. Come into the game and make that kind of throw. I'll take a look at it here. That was a, a perfect throw. See, the wind held it up and on the run. Good job back there by Nielsen to go get it. Let's see what happens right here. Called out. Do not believe he ever touched it. Out. We'll get the call right here. He is out at the plate. So if you're scoring F7, and then the throw goes 7 2 for the put out, as Peyton Powell will come to the plate here with two outs now. And with the wind holding that ball up, Rick, it really got a good, good. Momentum going towards home plate to make the throw. Then you know that you're going to throw that ball all the way to the plate. That's the other one when you're not worried about hitting the cutoff man. <laughs> so Powell will step in. First pitch misses for ball one. Powell looking for his first hit. He's reached twice, walked twice, 0 for 2 as he steps in. Downstairs. Hitters count now 2 and 0. 1 7 and 1 for ACU, 10 11 and 0 for Texas. This ball out to left, playable. And that ends the frame in the seventh. We go to the eighth. Texas leads by nine. For someone who came middle infielder, guess he pitched in high school, I would imagine. Out there now, I mean, the fastball's at 90 miles an hour. Right over the top, throws a lot of strikes. Downstairs there. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Redke, who made that great throw to the plate, skies this ball out toward center. It blows over toward right. Under is blue. They put it away for the first out of the inning. Typical afternoon, night here at the dish. That was Jack O'Dell's ball right behind second base. <laughs> that ball. Took off all the way over to the right center and Baloo made the catch.
Alessio will step in. Alessio. On the night. One for three. First pitch in there for a strike. Fouls it back. It's quickly 0 2. Curveball misses. One and two. Conference play back again. Special week this week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right here on LHN as the Cougars of BYU come to town. 6.30 Thursday night. Two and two now. This is outside. Count goes full. Seven homers, 31 ribbies. Steps back in. Off the end of the bat, the wind will push this back out of play. How about a ricochet catch? I took his eye off of it. White. Oh, he, he, oh, oh, no. And she wanted no part of it. She, she threw it back out on the field. <laughs> Got the horns up, though. Fastball inside corner for the strikeout. Now that was fun. Well, Ricochet comes back up, and all of a sudden she, she says, Hey, they're throwing it. I want to throw it. I like it. Left handed. Took the foul. She did get fouled. Yeah. Well, somebody needs to take another baseball over there. This ball chopped on the ground. Into left field for Stevens. Eighth hit of the night for ACU. Fest will step in. Walked his first time up. Austin native steps back in. Bows it back for strike one. Supposed to have nice weather this weekend, huh? It's supposed to be in Back the, in the 80s. 80s. Yeah. Curveball dropped in there for a strike. And it's quickly 0 2. Good breaking ball for the second strikeout for O'Hare. Cycle. Three for four tonight. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. Doubled. Drove driving a run and scored in the first. This ball into the gap in left center. Is it going to get out of here? Get out of town! Second of the night, 11th of the year. I didn't think a ball could go to left field. Wind was blowing earlier this season. That man right there reversed the win. Got to hit it 105 miles an hour off the bat. 381 feet again in the Yeti yard for Jalen Flores, second of the game. It's 11 1 Texas. So 
Ballou will step in. Wow. That was a line drive homer. I was kind of wanted to hit the fence, see if we got a triple. <laughs> but he, instead, he'll take that 11th of the year out of the park. Tied with his teammate now, Max Ballou with 11 homers. Ballou's got a 2 0 count here. 12th hit, 11th run of the night. Challenged it, threw him by him upstairs, and it's 2 and 1. This is inside corner. Three and one now to Max. Jalen holding court with the freshman over there. Challenge to begin. Upstairs. Blue did not get cheated there. Just missed the outside corner for ball four. I mean, this ball jumped. Extension. 105 off the bat, just getting over the wall. Here it comes. There it is. Where are all the beverages? They're all <laughs> They Tried to get, to get it in the trash the can, didn't it? <laughs> so man on first is Schusler will step in. He's two for four tonight. This could be two. The second for one, the relay to first. Six, four, three and a beauty. On the double play ball. You know, the game is really not fair because we, we saw usually get a, a hit tonight right off the end of the bat and that one he hits right on the button and it's a double play ball. Well, how you hit him? It's where you, where hit, you him. hit him. <laughs> Gasparino will step in breaking ball in there for a strike. Will. 0 for 4 tonight as he steps in. This ball chopped on the ground foul. For four. Did he get an RBI in that fifth inning? That throwing error by Greer got away at first, but a run did score on that ground ball. His 25th RBI of the, of the year. 0 2 misses outside. And the one two upstairs count evens. Paints the outside corner for the strikeout and that ends the inning. Longhorns do get on the board on the step in. Pinch hit against Heston Toll into the game here for the Longhorns. So floor is now 11 for his last 17 after going seven for 12 in the series against Kansas State. Now to get your average going up. Big swing and a miss from the slider from Toll. Senior from Ontario, Canada. Big Canadian, 6'4". Breaking ball in there for a strike. Also the senior from Wichita Falls. Toll, so two veteran guys here in the top of the ninth. Downstairs. Count evens. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Do it again. Mm -hmm. 0 
on the ground foul. Torba able to get to it. And Martin steps back in. Stairs and the count goes full. The payoff. Did he go? Yes, he did. Strike out. This ball on the ground. Floor is up with it. Two outs here in the ninth for ACU. Nielsen will step in. His second appearance, 0 for 1. Was a strikeout victim his first time up. Downstairs for ball one. Slider in there for a strike. Both teams came in. Zeke with identical records at 17 and 11. Eight and four is ACU in their conference. Texas six and three in their conference. So <laughs> both right in the mix. Right in the mix. Two and one to Nilsson. Texas kind of took the air out of this game in the fifth. Yeah, with that eighth spot. On the right field line, top of the J Down Brown Player Development Center. And it's two and two. Wilson steps back in. Breaking ball just misses. And the count goes full. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Second 